What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Real quick, before we get going here, I want to warn y'all, let y'all know, DucksWaterfowl.com, we are doing a 30% off sale on select items, today being Sunday through next Saturday. I will link DucksWaterfowl.com at the top of the description down below. Go check it out while it's here. Yo! What are you up to this morning? Checking on you. Are you? Last minute adjustments. Yeah, I'm just gonna loosen it up a little bit. All the white decoys are pretty tight. Right in the kill hole. Yep, uh, full body spread today, guys. Welcome back to another one. Um, beautiful sunrise, it's sitting right at 7.20 in the a.m. And uh, absolute gorgeous morning. Uh, we got, what, like two more of these mornings left and Saturday, it goes. Chilly? Oh. Really? Yeah. It goes back low again, way low with crazy wind chills. So um, this is this group of clients. This is their first day. Uh, we have a little boy and a very special guest. Um, awesome kid. He's Absolutely awesome. Absolutely amazing little boy. Um, but awesome group in. Uh, we have our giveaway winners here on the podcast. Uh, we did that giveaway, what was that? In, November? Yeah, November or September. Yeah. November, September. Isn't that when we did it? When did we actually draw this one? That's what I'm saying. I think it was then. For Alaska? November or December? Or no, sorry. September or, or November. <laughs> was that like three months apart? It was like somewhere in three um, months yeah, ago? Yeah, it's, we're pretty scatterbrained as you can tell. But uh, we have two of the giveaway winners off our podcast, Blind Talk Podcast. It's always linked down below. We just did an episode uh, with Federal and really covered... All of the ammunition crisis, shortage, what they're doing, what all the other companies are doing about it, how hard they're working, or yeah. are they barely working at all? Of we had course one of their, they're working. One of their engineers on there. Yeah. Pretty Primer cool. engineer. Awesome, awesome stuff. Go check it out. It's always down below. I'm going to get to work and spread some decoys out. But yeah, that's about all. We're A-frames. I'm sure Diddy will show you the A-frame when he walks back up there. Won't you? I will. <laughs> Um, the hide looks beautiful. Um, tall trees, bunch of brush, nasty stuff, but A-frames blended right in, threw some cedars, some tumbleweeds on them. Looks good. I don't think the hide should be our problem. Uh, I have no idea how many are roosting on this, but last night when I watched it, uh, boy howdy did it surprise me. I was sending all the boys Snapchats. I'm like, oh my god, it doesn't stop. Yeah, and it, it, it that roost is holding by far the most amount of ducks. Oh, there goes the ducks right there. Yeah, the by far the most amount of ducks I've seen all year anywhere. Yeah, me. Seen. There's another group right over there. Yeah, going over duck. Shoot him, guys. I'm just checking on you. Just checking on me. Yep, you alright? Yep, I'm good to go. How you feeling? Feeling good. I feel good. Today's going to be a fun day. Uh, we're rolling it in from yesterday's hunt, right? Yep. Day two. Um, yesterday was... It wasn't slow. We saw a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of birds, but... Um, unfortunately, they didn't like us a whole bunch. We shot 13, 15 geese. Today should be a bunch better. Uh, no snows here, thank goodness. No snows, um, no specks, thank God. But <clears throat> we haven't done this in a while. I got snot hanging from my nose like always. Uh, we haven't done this in a while where I go scouting and old P. Diddy stays and films the hunt. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I got a lot to talk about. So put it that way, right? Yeah. Thank you guys. Who will enjoy this video. Got to let let 
you gotta let me and old P Diddy know if you do down in the comment section. If you like these type of videos, drop a comment. Let us know what you guys want to see. Honestly, it's uh, we're getting to the end of not the end of hunting season. I shouldn't say that, but we're getting to uh, in deep far, you know, far enough into the season where we need to know what you guys want to see uh, before she's all over. So you gotta let us know. We're all done setting up. What time is it? Did you look? Nope. No nope. idea. Um, we're pretty early yet. We're gonna do a little BSing with the clients, uh, but after the first volley that y'all see from old P Diddy's filming, uh, we'll cut back to me and get into uh, into today's subject. Minnesota, and I got here via Patreon podcast giveaway. There you go. I'm very blessed and excited. Yeah, yeah, we're excited to have you. You are our fourth one I think we've done and uh, turned out good we've yeah. had nothing but great people yeah. win on that podcast so far um, what is hunting how much different is hunting here than at home Ooh, we don't have lessers at home at least that we hunt um, and then this is my first time hunting big spreads with A-frames and stuff so just good stuff or hedgerows, or hedgerows yeah Bob hey Preston how are you good where are you from? And yeah, uh, we're from Kansas City. I'm, I'm here with my son Jake, and uh, we're have, enjoying the heck out of everything you guys have done for us. It's awesome. And you were the supplier of yeah. what in the lodge? Yeah, helped him out with uh, some of the uh, faucets and that kind of stuff, sinks, disposers, kind of stuff. I uh, wanted to support the channel when Bob first started, so got involved with him, and and. Uh, it's been a, these, these guys are so great. I mean, they're, they're awesome. The cooks, all the guides are friendly. It has uh, just been awesome. Where are you from and uh, how old are you? I'm nine and I'm from Hoisington, Kansas. Oh, you're from Hoisington? Yeah. Oh, you're not far from here at all. So do you, you've been duck hunting ever yeah. since you could shoot a gun? How long is that? How long you been duck hunting? About five. Five years? That's got, awesome. I and got who, my gun at seven. At seven? What do you, what are you shooting? Um, twenty gauge. That's awesome. That's a perfect little gun for you. Who'd you bring with you? Um, I'm Uncle Brian. I'm from Allegan, Michigan. <laughs> Michigan. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> thanks for being here. Oh, it's been a blast. We got a nice little short cut out in the blind, so he can stand up and shoot. Perfect. Hey. <laughs> Where are you from, and uh, how'd you, you've been watching the channel? Yes, and I'm from Utah, and this uh, hunt was given to me uh, by my son, Trevor, Christmas for Christmas present. There you go, and what's, uh, I didn't know that. this is a lot different hunting than Utah, Yeah. It? Yes. Nothing it's, like, we don't do nothing like this, really. Um, you can go hunt fields, but it's not, we don't really get it's Chance mainly it. open water yeah open water. and you guys yeah, said you do hunt the salt lake a little bit uh, around the marshes uh, yeah. the marshes on the, the marshes north on side the north northeast side okay yeah. well sweet we're uh, glad to have everybody here <laughs> hey dawson stand up and shoot that goose shoot him right in the head Yeah. yeah! Nice shot! What the heck Beautiful! <laughs> Folded it. Mission complete. Mission complete. That was literally my goal for yeah. three days. Well, that's what I'm doing. Scouting just like I said I was going to. Uh, I love scouting. I love to chill in my truck. Finally got my truck back from the shop. Um, had to put all new shocks on it. Seems like it's always something. Uh, you use you use you use your truck doing this stuff. So there's some good traffic over this field. That's what I'm scouting. This if we can traffic this field, and I think we can just by what I've seen already. Sitting at 7:43, the birds are starting to fly over here. I'm about uh, seven miles away from the boys. Um, these are some different birds here, a different pod of birds, and a bunch of them. So. Anyways, getting into it, I hope that they're starting to shoot them. Uh, it's 7.45, so just to get into it here, uh, I decided to make this video um, because I get a lot of questions concerning um, guiding 
guiding in particular you know and then a lot of other questions and comments that I've always got even when I just did the YouTube channel was um, Bob how how do how do you how does Beth let you hunt so much and that used to be the uh, main question and before I did the guiding you know but when it became my job and she knew that it was now my job she's obviously gonna allow me to go do my job and on top of that she didn't allow me to go do my job she helped me achieve my dreams and um, that was always a thing for me and my wife was I helped her as much as I could through her college and, and she's now a nurse practitioner and um, I was like man I, I want to do something with my life and, and this is what I did and this is where we're at so now five years down the road uh, doing the YouTube thing and now the guiding I would say um, it's not for the faint of heart um, got to be in control of a lot of factors at all times and not only that you got to keep your head on straight um, we all get tired you do get very worn out doing this um, you're away from home a lot um, I am in my own bed every night, but I'm gone a lot. I only get to see my kids in the evening, which I'm sure a lot of you, that's when you get to see them as well. But that's one of the reasons why I knew that if I did this, I would have to have my lodge behind my house. Um, so I could spend time with the clients and then just walk up to the house and not have to drive or, you know, worry about getting home or being tired driving home, nothing like that. And you know most importantly being away from my family that much more so having the family in the lodge every single night that's a routine and we love it um, I'd say the one advantage I have is um, having my house where the lodge is so uh, that's a huge advantage if, if I didn't have that I'll be very honest um, it would be a lot harder on my marriage you know um, it's hard on the marriage as it is uh, but it's healthy that I'm busy. Being busy is my main concern other than my family, you know. Uh, I need to stay busy. When I'm not busy during the summertime, ooh, I can get grumpy, you know, and it's not good. So <sighs> looking for some opportunities, uh, some different opportunities during the summer. And let me uh, think of the next point to talk about. And let's get back to some hunting. The guys right here, you Steven stand up Luke. and shoot them too. Hurry up now, now, now! <laughs> Back. Nice. <laughs> Pick a move. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
him, guys. Nine out of there. How many you got? Six? Yeah. Seven, eight, nine? Yeah. Well, sorry. Stuff in my face. Woo! Mm hmm. Went and got me some biscuits and gravy from old BK. Oh, good stuff. Um, so the boys are doing good. They just got into a big group. Um, I think they shot nine out of it. Heck yes. I actually got to watch it. I was uh, about a half a mile away watching a different feed and I watched them get into it and I'm like, oh yeah. So, always good watching the boys get into a good old flock of birds. Um, but, I probably found uh, by now six really large feeds. Uh, lots of snow geese around out here. I'm trying to stay away from them snows. Uh, but moving on. Um, to uh you know all the work and the main topic at hand it's always nice to get in my truck like this and just munch and refuel my body uh relax listen to some music scout birds and just enjoy some me time and eating just eating lots of junk food it's so good uh i would say i am at physical peak performance i am very thin very trimmed up so the amount of labor physical labor day to day to day we hunt six days a week six days a week and most of the hunts i am on um or i'm doing this so i go and set up in the morning and then help tear down or i'm on 90 percent of our hunts regardless so um the physical aspect is a huge thing like uh controlling your emotions when you're just exhausted especially around the wife and kids having patience learning those things uh can take some time but um it's up to you you know it's up to me if i'm just gonna be complaining for no reason and blaming other people for stuff you know you can't do that you gotta be fair and, and uh I'd say being busy and, and tired like this, normally just tired, it helps me out because there's a lot of times when I have too much energy and I did not exhaust myself that day and I'm just wound up, you know, going crazy. So um, this is a good neutral for me. Uh, but as far as, you know, the marriage goes, guys, relationships, marriages, um, I think there's two things to talk about. Number one is when a man is hunting every day, even if, even if it's for his job, sometimes it can be pretty hard, especially at first, for the lady to, um, to understand that you're not just out there enjoying yourself every day and, 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 uh, and everything like that. And, and me and Beth, we experienced uh, that, uh, at, especially at the beginning of YouTube. But now with the guide service, she completely understands how much work it is. And if it wasn't for her, man, Sandhill wouldn't operate as good as it does. Big shout out to my wife, Beth. Sorry for the washboard roads. Uh, big shout out to my wife, Beth, for managing the clients, getting the clients completely prepped, ready to go, answering every call, email, um, just making sure that they are good to go when they arrive, arrival times everything everything that they need to bring all their licenses all four licenses that they need um, she's amazing so everybody go down in the comments and give a good positive positive heartwarming comment for my wife Beth some good stuff so when she reads it it makes her feel pretty good because she deserves every bit of it um, but let's get back into the hunting here guys Shoot him, 
guys. What do you want? You missed a good one today. I did? Oh yeah. I watched. You did? You watched I did some watch, of those volleys? I watched a lot of good volleys happen. Well, here we go. Hope you guys liked the video of the scouting. What was your thoughts on the on the hunt? It was good. Final thoughts? It was great. It was warm. It was comfy. They shot great. Little dude smoked the first goose of the day. Look dude, at that thing. I'm showing. The only honker. The only honker of the day. Ground pounded him, huh? Just turkey smashed him. You got it. Have you talked to the camera and told everybody your name and everything yet? I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> old Pete Diddy did a good job, didn't he? It's a good looking bird. You're going to mount him? Are you? All right. Well, you didn't mess him up too bad. No. You, you got, him. No, you got you a good old head shot on him, didn't you? Look at his wing. Oh, yeah, he's pretty. <laughs> He didn't get messed up at all. Yeah, I didn't do that. It was just flying around with that. That's awesome. There we go. That's good stuff. Happy kid. Yeah. Happy me. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful bird, buddy. This is a pile. They, were, they tore him up today. I mean, they, look, we're doing picture city. Tore him up today, boys. Good shooting. Woo. Good morning. Oh, man. Super Excellent fun. morning. So for the podcast giveaway, oh. brought you here. Oh, good! Amazing, awesome. amazing. Thank goodness. to be here. We wanted I mean, to push you on some goodness. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be a big weather change, so mm -hmm. we knew today was going to be our good, wholesome lesser day. Yeah. Lesser candidates, you yeah. know. Get rid of the snows. Get the specks out of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Fun one. We knew awesome. it was going to be good hunting, but no one told us about the good food. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Bert gets down. Eating like kings. Dude, the hibachi last night. Hibachi. Hibachi. A lot of sodium. Yep. A lot of sodium requires right. a lot we're, of water the next day. We're but. working it out today. <laughs> I, I, I was watching geese slamming down a burrito. Put it down. <laughs> shoot. Go back to. Yeah, it was a good oh, morning. you you guys are talking about breakfast in the blind? Oh, everything. And this morning, <laughs> I had two breakfasts. Never. You had two breakfasts. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stay warm. Well, here we go. This is what it's all about. It's what it's all about right there. Hey, what's a picture with you, Bob? Okay.